a little over a week ago now, I'm sorry, I got kind of busy, but better late than ever, I suppose, you might have seen me unbox this gorgeous Yamaha Standard Plus Pacifica. This was generously sent to me by the kind people at Yamaha to, well, you know, unbox and review and use, but I'm not being paid for this video or the one before it, and I'm going to be as unbiased and honest about this thing as it gets. This standard plus Pacifica at around $1,500 is one tier below the professional Pacifica, which clocks in at about two grand. The only difference between the two is the compound neck profile on the professional that this one doesn't have, I assume because it needs to be done by hand, and the fact that this one is made in Indonesia and not in Japan like the professional. And while some of us might be dissatisfied with that pricing, it's still a $500 guitar, but Shiba buying a $500. Those of us with an actual grasp on how money works will understand that R&D, cost of labor, and rent for a facility just de facto do not make it possible to charge much less for this thing that is being charged. I'm sorry. So with that out of the way, specs. The Pacifica features an older body, a maple neck with a satin finish on it, which I'm somewhat glad that they pointed out because to me this just felt like a very well-treated but unvarnished neck, which is not a bad thing because I like the feel of an unfinished neck, it's just not very practical, so the fact that it has a finish but doesn't feel like one is a positive to me. It has a rosewood fretboard with very, very cool inlays and 22 medium jumbo stainless steel frets. It does also come with a maple fretboard. Um, I didn't know that when asking for this thing, otherwise I likely would have asked for the maple one, but it's whatever. Godo locking tuners, a Godo 510 series, two-point tremolo bridge, Five-way pickup selector, one volume, one tone. The tone is push-pull as a coil split for the humbucker and the bridge. And perhaps most interestingly, these pickups designed by Rupert Neve in an HSS configuration. Before we get too technical though, it's time for my patented balloon fret sharpness test. It says, please recycle me on it. Um, this is the actual stuff they used to ship the guitar. So technically this counts as recycling, right? <laughs> And the balloon remains unscathed. Until now. And you can't forget about the neck dive test. Thank you to Rocket Music Gear for the cool strap. That is zero fucking neck dive. Quality wise, this guitar is impeccable. It arrived in tune, has held stable tuning ever since, and everything fits snug, feels smooth, and looks tasty. Now, if you've seen the unboxing video of this guitar, then you'll know that this is not your average set of pickups, because them being designed by Neve, the company known mainly for those big analog mixing consoles and stuff, makes these closer to hi-fi equipment than your conventional set of guitar pickups. And this is sort of where my approach of waiting a week as opposed to doing reviews based on first impressions really pays off. Because the first time I plugged this guitar into an amp, dialed to settings that I would usually use with any Stratocaster style guitar, I did not like it. And that is because this is no Strat. It may look like one, and historically the Pacifica may have always been a slight variation on a regular HSS Stratocaster, but this is a different animal. And once you recognize that, give into it and then start dialing in tones based on what this guitar is giving you, as opposed to what your expectations of it are, you might just start really enjoying it. It has weaknesses though, and I mean weaknesses beyond the fugly headstock. If I was playing guitar-focused music with the amount of gain you'd be used to from people like Malmsteen or Satriani, this probably wouldn't be the guitar I'd reach for, and by probably, I mean definitely. I don't think this guitar has the guts or the power 
to really cut through like that in a high gain setting and be the focal point of a high gain mix or jam session concert, whatever. What I think this guitar is perfect for is either stuff like jazz fusion or classic rock or guitar work that isn't meant to be super in the foreground. Say if you're a session musician, a hired gun to play for a hip hop or pop or I don't know, disco act, if you will. Think Jamiroquai. There's guitar in nearly every song and it wouldn't be the same song without the guitar but it's not guitar music, is it? And I actually believe that back in the 80s, Yamaha was making high-end Pacificas like this for session musicians in LA, so exactly what I just said. I can't 100% confirm this though, I wasn't able to really find any concrete evidence on the internet, so um, if you're old and know anything about this, I suppose just leave a comment. But the point is, while the affordable Pacifica models that we've all come to know and love as classic and really good entry-level guitars are suitable for pretty much any genre, because the electronics inside them are no different from a regular HSS Strat, this thing is deceptive. You might pick it up expecting a Strat and then being disappointed, nobody could blame you for that because it is sort of a Strat, or you might instinctively start playing a type of music on it that it very much was not created to do, and also be disappointed. And given the name of this channel and what I know about my audience, those both might very well be the case. So I think I've been talking for long enough, and it's time for you to hear a very out of character sound demo, and hear me play this thing for what it's actually intended for, which is not heavy music. And I forgot to say earlier, and I would have very much had the opportunity to just pretend I didn't forget and cut it somewhere into the middle of the video, but I'm not going to pretend to do that. This thing does appear to have a plastic nut, so $1,500, plastic nut. Mm. It's not a problem as of right now, it doesn't sonically make any difference, but a plastic nut over time will wear down quicker than a nut of literally any other material, so do keep that in mind, but obviously that's not a deal breaker for an otherwise great guitar. This was sort of an experimental video because I'm not really sure if the audience I've cultivated on Guitar YouTube on my other channel, Six String TV, is very interested in guitars like these. But if you are, then please make that clear by leaving a like, a comment, I don't know, subscribing, hitting the bell even, if you want to. There are affiliate links to buy all sorts of gear, in my video description, you don't have to buy this guitar. Both links, Sweetwater and Thoman, will link straight to this guitar, but you don't need to use them to buy that. You can buy literally anything else, and that will make you a part of this series that I've put somewhere on screen, which is a lot of fun. Go check that out if you haven't already. Thank you to Yamaha for sending this thing over. I always appreciate when companies work with me in spite of the risk of being shat all over. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm joking. Watch my most recent video somewhere around here. Subscribe, and I'll see you around.